Hello again, everybody. Uh, it is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Huh. I'm always going nuts. Anyway, uh, work only had an hour worth of work today uh, until maybe later, some other things to do. But anyway, in the meantime, I've become aware uh, that the Head Start here locally in Conway area sent similar uh, notifications to parents or at least told other parents that they had to vaccinate their kids or they couldn't go to Head Start. And again, that's not what the state law says. So I thought I would drive up there and um, go in and, and ask to see that and, and question them. Uh, for the purpose of obtaining what I want, I won't be bringing the video camera in with me. Uh, because that is intimidating and I want to make sure I get the documents and not the runaround, the proof to show you that they're blatantly lying to the parents uh, and therefore the parents believe that they have to and that it's a good idea to inject their children with many, many toxic substances. If any of you haven't seen um, any of this information, this is all new to you, uh, as always, feel free to uh, reach out to me. Uh, if you need help obtaining a waiver, uh, I'll help you with that. And anyway, um, I'm going to be back with you in a minute when I reach the head start. And a side note, folks, you know, these are my goals. And, and you know, I'm realizing that an activist is not something that's a hobby, not something that you do part time, not something that you hope for. It, it is what you are. You live it every moment, every time there's an injustice. You, you must act, even if it means putting off dinner, the phones, work, whatever it is. Because there's something more worthy than what we're reaching for as a society. And, and every time you pass by a human, you, you have the urge to make sure that that human has every bit of information that you have and understands fully how they're being manipulated, poisoned, tormented, oppressed, and you want to act. And then you always run across those faces as well that you already know. They're part of the system. They love it. Anyway, I'll be back with you in a moment just to show you that I am at the Head Start. And then hopefully after that I'll have a document to show you that proves the local system here is lying to parents and children are suffering for it. Much love. Be back with you soon. Hello again, everybody. Just back quickly to show you that I am at the Conway Area Head Start, which is located in Conway Village on Main Street, right across from the Napa store. And, and again, I'm not going to um, have the video on or intimidate anybody with the camera, but I, I will have it close at hand and ready to go at a click of a switch if things start to go foul. Uh, hopefully when I return with you, um, I'll have a document to show you. Uh, so anyway, be back with you in a moment. Well, back with you, everybody, and uh, I didn't even have to bother anybody for the information I need. You can see I'm at the head start. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to read something to you that should horrify you uh, under here. Let's see if I can focus this a little better for you so you can see the words. Are all immunizations necessary? Children entering Head Start must be up to date with immunizations required by Head Start and local state child care regulations as new vaccines or development requirements may change. If a child is behind on immunizations, he should re be referred to a health care provider to catch up. Rarely exemptions may be given for medical reasons or the family's personal beliefs. Rarely exemptions may be given. They discourage the parents from even looking into that. And the reason that it's rarely is because the mainstream media, government officials, and public schools don't inform the parents of their choice or the dangers. In fact, they lie to them. Are immunizations safe? Health experts agree that immunizations are far safer than the diseases they cause. A child may have soreness, low-grade fever, or fuzziness for one or two days. Complications like high fever and seizures are very rare. People should call their health care provider for any serious reaction. What about the autism? What, a, what about all these other things we could talk about? Okay, so there's the proof I needed. Um, I'm going to see now if I can get somebody and bring this to their attention and make them aware that they should uh, expect us 
care in the public school system. Thank you. Much love, and I'll see you soon. Okay, back with you folks, quickly leaving the uh, head start. So, and I'm sorry I, I don't know the young lady's name because uh, I don't really care what anybody's name is. This isn't personal. It's about the kids and uh, about the lies uh, and what's really going on. So, what, ha what transpired was um, I had to keep pushing to force information on this person. Uh, met with constant um, denial or silence, uh, and the, the person seemed to be more focused on the fact that my approach is rough, and that might not take well with most people. Um, then I informed her of my social online following and what's going to happen next. And I do have the phone number, which will be typed below in the show more for you to call the Head Start Regional Office. Uh, I'm going to encourage you to do that and uh, insist that they clearly state the state law, the policy. I just showed you that they lied to the community. And although this school isn't part of the SAU 9 district, it is a school that exists in my town, so it's all the same to me. Anyway, much love, many thanks, keep pushing on, and I'll see you soon.